Some stars do not stay dead after they die. Today, we're going to investigate a cosmic curiosity called Type 1AX Supernova Remnants, or as they are more commonly known, zombie stars. Just what are they? How do they form? And have we found any zombie stars out in the universe? First, we should get a definition for a zombie star, and then we should break it down a bit. A zombie star is a Type 1AX Supernova Stellar Remnant. Now that's a lot to say. Okay, we'll explain all this. A stellar remnant is a type of star that has passed the main sequence and is no longer performing nuclear fusion at its core, where nuclear fusion is the joining of two atomic nuclei to produce energy. Common types of stellar remnants include white dwarfs and neutron stars. However, only white dwarfs can become zombie stars. A white dwarf is a kind of stellar remnant made from a main sequence star that does not have enough mass to blow up in a supernova. Instead, the star sheds most of its mass until only the super dense, hot core remains. A white dwarf is so dense that one as big as the Earth would weigh as much as the Sun would. On top of this, there is a limit to how much the mass of a white dwarf can be, 1.44 times the mass of the Sun. Any bigger than this, and a supernova can occur as the white dwarf blows up. But how does a white dwarf get more mass in the first place? The answer is that a lot of white dwarfs are in binary systems with another star nearby. The white dwarf siphons mass from its bigger companion star until it reaches this critical 1.44 times the mass of the sun and explodes in what is called a type 1AX supernova. Usually this would destroy the white dwarf. However, a type 1AX supernova is theorized to be a weaker explosion that does not rip the dead star apart. As a result, a star that has died twice, once from exiting its main sequence, and the second time from a type 1AX supernova, is called a zombie star. This zombie star is half as heavy as what it was before, and interestingly, it has an outer layer made largely of neon. So the question remains, have we found any zombie stars out there in the universe? There are some candidates, with one being in the middle of the galaxy. At the center of the galaxy lies Sagittarius, an area comprised of the galaxy's central supermassive black hole and two adjacent areas of cosmic dust. On the east is an area appropriately called Sagittarius East. Sagittarius East appears to be the remains of a supernova which occurred some 35,000 to 100,000 years ago. However, astronomers have realized that the chemical makeup of the supernova points to a weaker explosion, that which would be expected for a Type 1AX supernova. This means that hiding within Sagittarius East could be the first zombie star awaiting to be discovered in the Milky Way. It is estimated that with new data coming out from star searching satellites, up to 20 more zombie stars could be discovered soon. As our imaging techniques improve, it is likely that we will discover more zombie stars in our galaxy and in the wider universe. What do you think of zombie stars? How many do you think are in the galaxy? Leave a comment below with your guess, and thanks for watching.